Take the pistol. Place it against your head. Fire. Welcome back to Rapture, a marine dystopia constructed on the ocean floor. While the first game presented an immersive world with fluid gameplay, is Rapture really worth a second visit? The first time around, Bioshock stunned us with its impressive visuals. The setting of Rapture was a refreshing break from the shooters of its day. And while in this sequel Rapture is still there, it does not have the same intriguing sense of mystery from the first game. The game still sounds good, and it's beautiful on the ocean floor, but setting slicers on fire is more of the same. Set ten years after the events of the first game, you play as a big daddy this time around. This puts a greater emphasis on the moral decisions you have to make with the little sisters. Unfortunately for you, the most powerful woman in Rapture happens to be the mother of your little sister, so you're gonna have to fight your way to get her back. It's no surprise that Rapture is in just as bad a state as it was ten years ago. This is one of the biggest disappointments of this sequel. The first game raised the bar for video game narratives, and Bioshock 2 just feels like more of the same. Audio logs and everything. Kid, come on, wake up now. Now the gameplay for Bioshock 2 is its greatest improvement. Fighting splicers is more fun than ever, with new weapons adapted to your character's aquatic suit. There are several new plasmids, and the existing ones are given new and useful functionality. It's always been a ton of fun to fight the big daddies, but now their new plasmid-wielding big sisters are here as well. One notable addition is the big daddy's drill, which is fun to use as you charge into your greatest enemy. Upgrade it, and it becomes one of the most useful weapons in your arsenal. The combat is broken up by bits where you collect weapons from corpses and hack security bots, but it was significantly streamlined this time around. Bioshock 2 also features a multiplayer mode, which is surprisingly fun for what it is, but it probably won't be able to compete with juggernauts like Halo or Call of Duty. While it includes level progression, matchmaking, and a few interesting game modes, it's clear that the emphasis was put on the single player experience. In conclusion, Bioshock 1 was a game that did not need a sequel. Following one of the greatest narrative experiences of the last few years is certainly a difficult task, but with refined gameplay and a new perspective, Bioshock 2 is worth checking out if you long for a return to Rapture.